A big what's up to everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I just had to get something off of my chest real quick. Uh, I'm not really going to lament too long because we actually won a big game yesterday during prime time against the Milwaukee Bucks. But why the hell are we still having temperament issues when it comes to Joel and B? Like, seriously, dog. The picture that I have on here on the screen um, right now is the nadir of the Sixers' chances last night to actually win against Giannis and company. This score comes after a large Bucks run. Um, where they popped off a couple of transition threes within our faces. And I'm not going to lie. I honestly thought that the game was over at, at this point. Of course, we all know the rest of the game by now. The Sixers bench comes in during the beginning of the fourth, uh, led by Maxi. by the way. Shout out to, to him. They cut the lead to striking distance to where James Harden comes in and cleans up the rest, even though it was a back and fourth game. Uh, but I, I want to talk about something that happened during the run and a majority of the last few games so far. Joel Embiid's attitude is going to be the downfall of the Sixers, and I'm tired of it, fam. Like, I'm, I am I'm tired of fans giving him a break when he pouts on the court game after game. Like, seriously, what are we doing here? Milwaukee makes a small run about, what, eight points? They're, like, shoot, shoot, shooting threes galore, like they should do as a championship team. And what does Joel do? Plays with loser energy doesn't hustle for the ball, nor plays defense in the paint, and just overall looks like he doesn't give a damn, which in turn sucked the energy out of the Sixers, leading to the Bucks capitalizing and building the lead to 18. Like, dog, is Joel Embiid supposed to be the leader of this team or not? I am truly getting sick and tired of the way he reacts when the game is not going his way. There is no reason why this team was playing well when he was not on the floor last night, playing better when he wasn't on the actual floor for that beginning of the fourth. Absolutely none. It is honestly an indictment and embarrassment on the big fella. Again, I am not trashing Embiid. I'm simply holding him accountable because I actually care and want to win a championship. Now, some of you will actually say, well, you know, Embiid still hit the actual game winning shot. So why does this even matter? Well, besides the fact that Joel Embiid is a top three player in the league and should hit that shot with his eyes closed, if anything, to make up for everything that he didn't do. Besides all of that, it is because he loses focus when he does this, yo. He legit takes himself out of the game mentally to the point where he comes back in. He misses two free throws. And he gets careless with the ball, almost getting turnovers. Like, I am sick of it, yo. It is almost year 10 of him on this team doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. He's been like this the last four games against the Heat. First game, crying. Doesn't play the, the actual next game. Still against the Heat again. The Sixers play well. Then we play the Mavs, soaking. The bench comes in, brings us back. Joel B re-enters the game and is still on some nut-ish. And then last night with the Bucks. Once again, the team played cohesively against the Heat without him, blowing them out. Something isn't making sense. This will not cut it in the playoff show. We will be a second round exit if this continues and it'll be on no one but Embiid himself. You can come at me in the comments all you want. I do not care. We can blame ownership. We can blame the front office and we can blame coaching on why this team hasn't been where they want to be the last few years. But at the end of the day, the players on the court are the ones who are playing the game and creating the outcome. No excuses. If you are a top three player in the league, act like it. I don't see Jokic crying. I don't see Giannis crying like that to an extent. Don't see KD crying. Grow up, bro. Because if not, we're not winning a championship. We're going as far as Embiid takes us, yo. And I'm not loving this energy the last four games. Coming out of the All-Star break for a championship run. It is disgusting and somebody needs to, to, to talk about this. We got the dub, and I'm glad about that, you know. But, like, again, giving your fans heart a tax because you want to cry? Like, nah, dog, I'm off it. Not saying, like, obviously, I'm not saying trade Joel. I'm not saying that. <laughs> like, clearly not. But, bro, we need to start holding him accountable. <sighs> but with all that out of my chest, I feel 
better. Um, I do have to say real quick, I I think the Sixers have finally turned a page in their kitty cat mentality. Um, the last few games, you know, other than the Heat, you know, debacle against the Celtics, Mavs, and Bucks, all closed games. Even though we haven't won all of those games or whatever, gave Boston trouble. Was going to win the game if we went into overtime. We lose, fine. The Mavs bench carries us essentially still came back was like losing most of the game came back you know the bucks were down most of the game and come back in clutch fashion the sixers never did this bro once again the sixers never did this historically once we lose leagues or we get down by 20 20 points the game is done and I've seen the last few games, the Sixers fight back when their back is against the wall. That is dangerous. So what I'm saying in conclusion is if Joel Embiid plays locked in from jump, no one is going to stop us. And that right there is the reason why we aren't the favorites going into the playoffs. That is the reason because we can never count on Joel's mental and I think he can do it. I know he can do it. He <laughs> he better do it. So that's it. Uh, I went long longer than I thought I was going to, but it needed to be said. Yo, let me know in the comment section if I am tripping, which I might be. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> like, nah, like, nah, duh. Anyway, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.